All right, question of the week, Inblex review number 15. Our question is, lymphocytes are also known as, is it A, erythrocytes, B, thrombocytes, C, leukocytes, or D, platelets? One more time, lymphocytes are also known as erythrocytes, thrombocytes, leukocytes, or platelets. So I'll give you a few moments to work on this one, and then we'll go ahead and head over to the explanation. All right, so in the community tab, I asked you, lymphocytes are also known as, and we had a great turnout. We had 32 votes. 6% said erythrocytes, 3% said thrombocytes, 66% said leukocytes, and then 16% said platelets. And also 9% said, I have no idea. Where can I find your Inblex Review courses? So if you were part of that 9%, just stay to the very end of this video and I will explain to you exactly where you can find my Inblex Review course. And then thank you to the four people who liked this post. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into this information and see which one of these is the correct answer. Lymphocytes are also known as. So let's start with platelets here. Platelets are also known as thrombocytes, and platelets are responsible for coagulation. They're going to be responsible for preventing us from bleeding out. So if we get a cut, they're going to come in and they're going to clot that area. And so that is the function of platelets. They are going to prevent and stop us from bleeding. All right, so that is not a lymphocyte. So we can go ahead and get rid of B and D. Thrombocytes and platelets practically mean the same thing here. So it is not B, it is not D, leaving us with a 50-50% chance of picking either erythrocytes or leukocytes. So let's take a look at erythrocytes. Erythrocytes are also known as red blood cells. Now these are responsible for bringing and carrying oxygen to our tissues and then also carrying away carbon dioxide from our body and expelling that through our respiratory system. So erythrocytes is also not the correct answer here, leaving us with leukocytes. Now, leukocytes are lymphocytes. However, it's important to understand that all lymphocytes are leukocytes, but not all leukocytes are lymphocytes. For instance, we have basophils, neutrophils, eosinophils, monocytes. Those are leukocytes, but they would not be considered lymphocytes. However, a lymphocyte is a type of white blood cell. So it's important to make sure you understand that as well. Lymphocytes are white blood cells. And so the correct answer here is leukocytes. So primarily 66% got this answer correct. Now, if you were part of the individuals that did not get this answer correct, I would encourage you to check out my Inblex Review course on the Patreon page. It goes into the circulatory systems, structures, and functions. And as you watch the video, you can fill out the study guide that comes along with the video. You fill in the blanks, then you can label all of the structures and functions of the cardiovascular system. It's very important that you make sure you understand this information because on the Inblex, there's going to be 12% of anatomy and physiology meaning that 12 out of 100 questions could likely show material like this. So I would highly encourage you to make sure you know this information. All right, y'all have a wonderful week ahead, and I will see y'all in the next question of the week. Y'all take care.